Finally back, back into the new year, back with new energy and with clear skin. <laughs> I feel so good. But anyway, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys how to do your eyeshadow for eyes that don't have like a huge eyelid space. I know it's a struggle and I did a post on Instagram and a lot of people actually came into the comment section and they were like we struggle so much we i i some people were even saying that i literally like stop stop doing eyeshadow and i've stopped doing eyeshadow looks because uh i can't deal with a very small eyelid space so the lucky thing is i'm also someone who has a very very small eyelid space and for the longest time I didn't know how to deal with my eyes or to do uh, eyeshadow that is suitable for my type of eyes and for the longest time I was trying to do all these dramatic looks on my eyes and, and, and it just didn't come out looking nice so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to do eyeshadow for eyes like that uh, this does not work however for people that have hooded eyes because hooded eyes is a totally different story I will need uh, to have someone who actually has hooded eyes on the channel to demonstrate on but anyway without further ado I'm just gonna get right into the video and not waste any much of your time so first off I'm gonna go in and fill in my brows the way that I've always done even in the previous year I haven't changed how I'm actually doing my brows this year and then I am using my signature cosmetics pencil which I also recently discovered and I'm gonna go in with my spoolie and then I'm just brushing in my brows upwards just to separate them so that I can see what I will be actually doing and where I will be filling in. So then I'm just gonna start with the bottom and draw a line underneath my brows. I'm gonna go in and do the same thing for the top. So you can see my brows are very sparse right here. I don't have a lot of hair on the tail of my brow. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in that part first. Then once that is filled in, I go in and I start filling any other parts of my brow that are also very sparse. But as I do that, I do not go in to the beginning of my brow because that's just going to make my brows look square and fake. Then I take my spoolie and then I just brush up everything and blend it out. Then to shape my brows, I'm also using the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. I really love this concealer and I discovered it sometime uh, last year. And also to shape my brows, I'm using a flat concealer brush. I don't like to use the angled brush because it is very difficult for me to use. So when you want to prep for eyeshadow, this part that I'm going to demonstrate is very important because you want to make sure that your eyeshadow is in place the whole day. You don't want it to shift, you don't want it to smudge. So whilst you're doing your brows and whilst you're shaping the bottom of your brows, it's important to drag the concealer to the rest of your eyelid so that you can use it as a primer. You can use any eyeshadow primer, but I don't really find the purpose. It's better for you to just use your concealer as the base for your eyeshadow. Right now, my brows look crazy and I look like an angry bird. But don't worry, we're going to fix that. Anyway, to start off with the eyeshadow, in today's video, I am going to be using the Sigma Beauty Warm Neutrals Volume 2 Eyeshadow Palette. It's a really beautiful palette, but it is also quite very pricey. 
If you can afford it, then that's good. Other substitutes that are quite affordable as well that are in the market are the Kony Transform palette. Uh, and this is how it looks like. There is also another substitute or uh, the Makeup Revolution Flawless Matte Palette. This is all like neutral eyeshadows, but it is also quite very affordable. In the Sigma palette, I'm gonna go in first with the color Toasty, and this is like a soft brownish beige color, and I am just blending that color softly into the bridge. And as you can see, I am not going over this line here, which is my bridge. I am leaving out all the space on my brow. Now to give more depth to my eyes, I'm gonna go into the palette with a color called Henna. Now to clean up this line that is here, I, I don't like that line. I take off another brush and then I just blend it out. To bring more depth into my eyes, I'm going to use a black color that's in my Makeup Revolution London Flawless Matte Outer Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to take this black here and I am going to apply it on the outer corner of my eye to make my eyes appear smoky. There is a cosmetic tape that is specifically made for this, but I just use my tape, the normal tape that I use for all my other stuff and I just take it and I stick it onto my face or in, onto my outer corner of my eye in an angle like that now because I want to apply a shimmer color I'm gonna go in back with a concealer and create a cut crease the reason I, why I'm using a concealer is because I'm going to be packing on a shimmer color and I want the shimmer color to sit perfectly and be very pigmented. So this is the part that's very important. You want to start it from the inner corner of your eye. And as you can see, my crease is right here. And that's a very, very small lid space. So what I want to do for my eyes to appear bigger is I want to raise my cut crease a little bit, but not too much. I'm just going to go over my natural cut crease and make it appear a little bit bigger. But then again, as I'm doing that, I'm not going overboard to the part that is hooded. So, of course, I did go offline and I applied makeup on my whole face because I do want to focus on the unimportant. Anyway, I wanted to show you as well that if you want to open up your eyes and make them appear bigger, what do you actually do? So, the thing is, most people that have my type of eyelids uh, do have eyes that are like quite normally okay, but they're not big, neither are they too small. So... I like my eyes to appear bigger because that makes me look like a doll and if you like to do that what you need to use is a white pencil. And as you can see already this eye appears to be bigger than this one. This looks sort of like closed up. And this one looks more wider and more open. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. And so that brings us to the end of the video. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, what are you doing with your life? Please subscribe so that you don't get to miss out on 
any of my videos also you guys just let me know what you got up to during your festive season in the comment section down below what are your resolutions for 2019 what are the changes that you want to make in your life personally i just want to be early for my meetings i just want to be early for my appointments and everything else and I just want to have peace in my heart and be happy. That's all that I'm wishing for my 2019. So don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, I love you guys for tuning in today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.